Hey guys, in this video, we will look into how I recreated Ezreal's Mystic Shot ability. Again, before we continue on, be sure to have watched episodes 1 to 6 on the MOBA character series, and then episode 9 to stay up to date with this series. So in Unity, you can see that I have my character model over here, and instead of the... I re pretty much renamed the script of the Annie ability to Pyromania, which was the name, and I added a new script called Mystic Shot, so this will be just dedicated for Ezreal's Q ability. I've also changed the canvas, so you'll have a skill shot canvas with just the image of the arrow, and that will be the indicator for when we um, press the ability. I also changed the bull, because I think before here it was like, can use ability, but um, I also increased the speed of the animation, so when it does the animation now, oh wait, it doesn't really see, but you saw earlier that the animation was pretty much quicker you don't really have to wait for it to do the whole animation first before it spawns the projectile um go into our character model now we'll click on the script so it's the same as the annie's q ability i just copied and pasted everything just changed a few variables to make it suit the skill more skill shot than single targeted um so you can see we still have the in script script stuff so animator anim rate cast hit movement move script and then i changed the header so we have a public image named it to mystic shot image we have the cooldown the ball is cooldown which is set to pulse the key code um can skill shot which is set to true public game object the projectile prefab and also the transform which is the spawn point and then this is more for the input so we have a vector 3 called position a public canvas called ability on canvas public image called skill shot and a public transform which is the player so in the start method, we'll look into it. The mystic shot image dot fill amount is set to zero. The skill shot dot get component image dot enable is equal to false. So this is pretty standard. So when you start the game, you have your ability cooldown ready to use, and it won't show the this particular image at the start of the game until you enable it. We'll also get the move script, which is the movement script, the anim, which is the animator. Moving down to the update. We'll call the skill shot ability uh, method. So ray cast hit, and then we have another ray called ray, which will be the screens upon ray, the mouse position of the um, the player. And then for the ability to one inputs, so this is to make the canvas um, follow the mouse. If physics dot ray cast ray out hit math infinity, the position will be the hit point dot x hit point dot y and hit point dot dot z, which is um, where our mouse will be. And then for the ability canvas to follow that. We'll have quaternion trans rotate or trans rot and have that equal to look rotation the position which was the the vector three minus the player that transform the position so minus the player so it will pretty much just follow around the player and we'll also have trans rot dot euler angles new vector three zero trans rot dot euler angles dot y trans rot dot euler angles dot z and then we'll have the ability canvas dot transform dot rotation uh, lerp it into a, the trans rot and the ability canvas transform dot rotation and zero going down to the skill shot ability itself so if input dot get down the ability key the key code and it's set to false we'll enable the skill shot indicator and then if the indicator is true and we press left mouse button um i'd want the player to pretty much rotate i'd always use the same rotation so it'd stop and then rotate towards um where i clicked and then uh check if the if can skill shot the ability will go on cooldown and then it'll also start the coroutine which will have the animation of when we spawn the projectile so once it's uh on cooldown i think i showed this before the mystic shot dot image dot fill amount just minus equals to one based on the cooldown dot times dot times dot delta time um and then we'll just have the um skill shot indicator set to false just so once it reaches zero again, you'll be able to use the ability again. So for the coroutine, I just call that start coroutine core mystic shot, just coroutine mystic shot. So once that happens, I'll set the can skill shot to false. And then I'll call the anim uh, ball mystic shot to true, which you can see over here, it has to match the animator, so mystic shot. So we'll have that set to true. So the blend tree is the idle and run. So once it's set to true, it'll, it'll do the um, ability. So it does that. Wait 1.5 seconds. And then it'll go back to false. Meaning after that, it'll go back to idle or like running. And then this 
I added the comment here, so this one, this part is called in the animation event itself. All it does is just it can skill shot is equal to true, and it just spawns the projectile uh, wherever the spawn point was, which is for us it's just over here. Oh what well, for me? It's just ego spawn point, and then this will spawn the projectile that way. So that's pretty much it. It wasn't that really complicated to do. Skill shots are definitely much easier to implement than other abilities since all you got to do is just spawn the projectile and then have the projectile move towards a direction and then if it hits the enemy it damages them. So the prefab of the mystic shot is uh, a duplicate of the ranged projectile but instead I didn't include the damage. I just made it uh, spawn and then move towards the forward direction and then times it by speed and then after a certain amount of time you can destroy the game object but obviously you can uh, choose whether if you want to damage it or have it destroy earlier or later so in the update method you can see game object dot transform dot transform direction vector three dot forward and then game object dot transform dot translate new vector three zero zero speed times dot time speed times time dot delta time and then I also called the destroy game object uh, coroutine so after three seconds it will pretty much destroy itself going back to our player you can see on the inspector that this is where i have my variable set to so mystic shot ability image is the ability black and white so this is meant to be black and white um yeah the projectile prefab which is what i just showed you ability is what you want to press and we have the projectile spawn point which is what i showed you earlier where the projectile spawns uh, we have the ability canvas over here. You pretty much just create a world canvas and then have a image as a child of it. And then that will equal as your skill shot image. And then you have the player transform, which is wherever your, your player is. So you just drag that. You just drag your player into the inspector. You play the final result. They will walk around. And for example, if I want to face that way, it will move towards there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry this video took a long time to upload, even though it was like very simple. I've uh, just been very busy. Uh, I do have a few more ability ideas, or if you guys have any ability ideas, just let me know in the comments below and see if I can make them. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.